Hello and welcome to Meow To with Miki and Adam. So what we're going to do today is we're just going to exp we're going to export Rhino into 3ds Max. So some of the reasons why this might be worthy is sometimes you just find you might have a Rhino file on what you might have done some grasshopper analysis or um, developed some geometry through grasshopper or for whatever reason and you just need to get it into 3ds Max. So there's a, a few ways to do it. We're going to do a, uh, show you a couple of ways, but I think probably from my benefit, from my point of view, that the easiest way to have done this is to do it via the 3ds file. So first things first is select your geometry. So we're going to select on um, the geometry that we're going to do, and then it's pretty simple setup. It's file, export selected, and this is where we've got our options. So you can see. Um, we'll select our desktop to save it, but you've got all your different options here. If you scroll down and have a look, so we've got DWG, um, we've got 3DS here, we've got a SAP, we've got an Illustrator if you need, but we're going to try the um, 3DS version, so 3DS Studio. So we'll click on that, just give it a name 3DS Max Test. Vo one, save that. Uh, we're going to save the lights and views. Probably don't need to save lights. We'll unclick that, and we're going to do fewer polygons is good, but you could you could change it if you needed it. It's something more complex. We've got some pretty basic geometry, so that's pretty much it. We'll come across to 3ds Max. We're now 3ds Max screen. We've just got a new 3ds Max, and we're just going to go across to File and Import. And so we're going to select import and if we go to our desktop we're going to find our Rhino to 3ds Max test file and open and it's going to give us a few options here so we've got merge objects with current scene completely replace a current scene and convert units so we, we, we've got an empty screen here so we can just merge objects with the current scene and do you want to set the current animation links to match the animation links stored in the 3ds Max file yes we will do that so this is what happens. So this is basically um, the geometry that it's pulled up. So you can see that everything's individual um, and they all have different layers. So everything's got its own object layer. We've got some cameras in here that we can turn off. Um, and this way uh, you can, the cameras we probably don't need either here. We can take them or delete them. So you can see that all of the individual objects have their own layer. So you can go across and you can select one object and you can go through and um, edit its individual elements or polygons. So if we select there or we select by face, we can select elements um, and we could, for instance, we can extrude that verba or we can bevel it, you know, whatever we need to do. These it's imported as all separate objects. So that's one option. So the other option is then to import it as a 3ds uh, as a DWG file, which is an AutoCAD file. So if we go back to our Rhino and um, we select all our objects again, we're going to go to File export selected and say let's let's click on that to get our file name but this time we want to do it as a dwg autocad drawing just to see what that looks so again we'll file save um, we've got our option so we'll just go to default um, but you can do some lines polylines but default is pretty standard and it works pretty well for most things so we've done that we've exported that and we'll just go across to our 3ds Max again and what we might do is we might just turn all that off and so we're going to go file import import again and we can see we've got our free uh, our DWG file and we're going to just select open and this gives us a few more um, op uh, options such as layering so if you just want to um, a little bit hard to see but you can see there's some black ticks there if you just want to select not all the layers 
so we probably don't need default layer because there's nothing on there and then we've got our geometry and so we can unclick that use extrude modified represent thickness um, and you can select here so we can just do by layer by one object um, color and material so there's a few ways to that they derive the primitives let's select one object and see what happens there and then you've got some few other options but basically looking we can just hit OK and you can see how this has popped up so immediately it looks a bit different but if we hover over it it's selecting it as one object so it's 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 imported it as one block um, so this would be handy if you're just doing context and you're not needing to edit or modify these within your 3ds max file so if you just kind of needed to edit in one sort of particular type of geometry but if you wanted to make any changes you can't really do that with because that's been imported as a block so if we turn that off again let's see what happens if we can get them to import a separate object so we'll go import again we got our 3ds max file we go open and um, we chose one object here so let's just see what happens when we do layer um, and hit OK so as you can see we've got it imported if we hover over it it is all still um, acting as one but if we look across to our layers panel we can see that it's imported as our layers so we have our sun layer angle our city block and our 10 meter street so um, still that when anything that's been on the layer is is joined together and is only editable by itself but what it's also showing though is that we could um, import separate layers and adjust them layers layer by layer but I think for me if you depending on what you're wanting to do with it but if you're wanting to edit it and incorporate some of this geometry and then edit it I would import it as a 3ds object if it's just using there for context or if you've created a specific shape in Rhino and then need to get it into your 3ds max file then you could import it as a DWG file okay okay and that's all so thanks for watching and uh, until next time